Hey guys, welcome to my channel. I am the Pick a Card Empress. You guys may also know me as Made for Love. And welcome to my channel. So today we're going to ask, who's talking about you? Now they could just be talking or they could be gossiping. We're going to find out. And what are they saying? Like, why do they have your name in their mouth? <laughs> right? What are they saying? So we have three pals. We have the Dark Mansion Tarot for pal one. We have the... Um, universal weight for pal two and we have the tarot of the new vision um, for pal three um, so pal one has amazonite pal two has this black tumuline pyramid and pal three has clear quartz so you can choose it by the name of the the name of the deck or the stone on top or you have a lucky number um, or some number flashes in your mind, whatever it is, um, you choose um, your pile and I'll be with you in a moment for your reading. All right, guys. Hey, pile one, if you um, chose the Dark Mansion Tarot, pile one, this is your reading. Now, I'm telling you from just from the stone that's on top, um, this could be about a lover. It could be about a past lover, present lover but this is someone who may have hurt you so you might still be healing your heart could be betrayal from a friend but i think that something went went wrong with whoever is coming going about about to come through like something went wrong either they betrayed you you betrayed them there's some kind of conflict and this there's a situation that needs to be healed all right so anyway we're gonna look so um i took out some cards from my archetype deck and i'm going to pull two two cards and let's get an idea about who this may be one second let me just put this up so we can have these in view i'm sorry guys i just thought of putting them on the stands and of course now that i'm looking i can't find another one oh, whatever all right so anyway so maybe somebody that might have put you on a pedestal all right let's go Two cards. Who is talking about pile one? Alrighty. So we got a mother here. A mother energy coming through. So it could be your mother or somebody's mother. It could be somebody's mother here because um, it's in reverse. So even though it's um, supposed to be a mother energy, it's not somebody um, that has good intentions towards you. And it's also someone... Who is telling lies about you? Because this seeker card is about seeking the truth. And this one, um, it talks about... It's in reverse. So it's about somebody's telling lies on you. So it could be somebody's mother. It could be the mother of somebody's child. So like maybe um, a baby mama or something like that. But this person, it looks like they're spreading lies. Um, let me pull a card on that mother card. Ah, just got that confirmation. My phone just beeped. So let's see. Let me pull a card on um, that distorted mother energy because it's in reverse. So this is someone who's incredibly ungrounded. So this could be a baby mama. It could be um, if you are with a person and they have a third party. I think this is definitely um, that person. And they're working really hard on doing this too. Yeah, they, they're told, I told you they're absolutely ungrounded um, and unbalanced. Let's get another card. Yep. And they're talking about you because they're experiencing some kind of tall moment right now. And um, this person's totally unenlightened and unawakened. So what I'm getting from this, um, this could be if you are with someone and there's a third party, even if it's some kind of um, crazy ex that this person has, or there's a karmic, um, know that they're working hard and it looks like they're spreading some kind of lies or some kind of rumors about you. Let's see Seeker in reverse. Okay, so I'm picking up a karmic energy and the karmic could be um, a mother figure. But the, the reason why this person's telling lies on you is because they're jealous. Okay, they're jealous. But they're absolutely ungrounded. I'm really getting a karmic because in my readings, reverse court cards are karmics. So this is a third party. It could be a karmic mother 
um, or it could be um, somebody's baby mama. Okay, that's what's coming through. All right. But someone who is ungrounded, they're not, um, they're not emotionally and mentally stable. All right, so let's see what they're saying about you. Hold on. Let me get some cards from this deck. Guys, I'm sorry. I didn't mean to use these cards, but I'm going to go with the flow. Yeah, this is my emotional intelligence deck. Let me, let me just get some more insight on this person. Let's get four cards. All right. Manipulative. All right. So this is a master manipulator. Let's, let's get some more cards. Um, somebody self-sabotaging. Someone who feels purposeless. And someone who admires you. So what I'm getting from this is someone um, who is jealous of you. I think they have a lot of admiration for you. They admire who you are. And every time they compare themselves to you, pile one, they feel absolutely purposeless. And then all the negative thoughts, self-thoughts, all the negative feelings keep crashing down on them, right? And this person, in order to stay in control, um, they get incredibly manipulative. And that's why they start, you know, when you can't control a person you control how people see them and how people think about them this is what that person is doing so i'm really getting here i'm getting a karmic energy i really am okay all right so let's see what this karmic is saying about you um power one so a third, it's a third party all right so it looks like power one you're in some kind of three-way um and it's a third party it could be a mother figure or something like that so we have the ten of swords reversed Gemini, Libra, Aquarius energy. We have the Nine of Swords reversed. Again, Gemini, Libra, Aquarius energy. <clears throat> we have the Tower. <clears throat> A Scorpio, Aries energy. We have the Full reverse. I'm going to get about eight cards. We have the Three of Wands. We have the Ten of Wands. We have the Hanged Man. And we have the Five of Pentacles. All right, so um, the Towers, I said Aries and Scorpio. Um, the Fool. Um, is Aries, the Three of Wands, Leo Sagittarius, Aries energy, more fire energy here with the Ten of Wands. Um, we have the Hangman here, and we have the Five of Pentacles in reverse. Okay. I have two scenarios coming through. I have a karmic talking about you, and I also have a love interest, an ex, who hurt you is also coming through okay <clears throat> you have to take what resonates or it could be both of them quite frankly okay right so this mother energy reverse could be somebody who's ungrounded they have some kind of mommy issues and then this seek and reverse someone who has um commitment issues or some kind of pathological liar okay all right so i have two i have two coming through so let's do the first the first one um is the karmic so a third party, a baby mama, somebody, a third party in a relationship um, that you're in, they're talking about you. And basically what they are saying is that you are responsible for ruining their relationship. And as far as they're concerned, they're concerned, they had a perfect relationship. Um, it was anxiety free. It was all loving and all of that before you came along and you ruined everything. Um, as far as they are concerned, you brought the tower down, okay? You made things crumble down and you broke up their happy home, right? But it looks like their home was never happy. But anyway, this is what they are saying about you, 
right? So you're responsible um, for this great deception, this great betrayal. So they are projecting everything on you. So if your person might have cheated on them with you, they're saying that you are the reason. So they're projecting everything. Everything that was wrong in the relationship, they're projecting it onto you and they're um, absolving the other person from their responsibility or their accountability in what happened. Okay, so they're saying that everything was perfect. There was no anxiety or anything like that before. And you're responsible for this big betrayal that happened in their relationship. So everything came crashing down. Um, they think you're absolutely foolish. Um, they think that you are immature. That's what they're telling people, that you're immature. And you're responsible for breaking up their happy home, right? <clears throat> um, they also see you waiting in vain. They're telling people that you're waiting in vain if you're waiting for your person to come to you. Um, they think that you're waiting in vain um, and that your person's never going to come and they're going to make sure um, that your person um, never comes and you're going to be perpetually waiting there. Um, they also um, see you as some kind of big weight on their back, a big weight on their relationship because you're like um, the elephant in the room that everybody knows is there but nobody's talking about um, and it's placed an added burden on their connection. But it looks like the connection was never strong in the first place. Um, but <clears throat> um, this person is like they can't seem to see a different perspective. I think they're just, you know, trapped in their pain and they need to project that pain um, onto someone. And that scapegoat um, happens to be you. So they see their life as standing still. And they see you as standing still. They, they keep seeing you waiting. They think that you're waiting on your person to come back. They see you waiting, right? I think they're also telling people that you're very enlightened, that you might be mystical. But they also see you um, as being left out in the cold and that you're going to stay out there. That's what they're telling people, right? Um, they see you waiting on your person and they think that you're going to be waiting in vain, um, waiting forever outside in the cold because um, they are doing everything that they can be manipulative um, to make sure that you never reunite, reunite with your person. That's what they're telling um, their friends or whoever they're talking to. Um, if you um, believe that this is a love interest that's talking about you, and it very well could be, um, this person is telling people about how you either betrayed them or they betrayed you. But it looks like that they betrayed you. And they have been agonizing um, over this. I mean, look how painful this is, right? So they're telling people how they betrayed you and that they just want to come out of this nightmare. I think that you, whatever happened between you guys, I think it might have been toxic or unstable um, before. And now that this, cower, this tower has come down, it's really exposed this person's immaturity. So they're also telling people that when you guys broke up or when you guys separated, um, they realized what a fool they had been. They couldn't see who you were before. Because they were there on their high horse in their tower. They couldn't see you. They couldn't see your beauty. They couldn't see what you had to offer. Um, they regret, they're telling people, that they didn't listen to their intuition. Because their intuition was telling them to, keep a, um, to take a leap of faith on you. Um, to trust you and this connection. Um, but they didn't do that. In fact, what they were doing was just, you know, wasting time with a third party here. They were wasting time with a third party here. And they feel like they made the wrong choice because they could have chosen to go either way. But it looks like they chose someone else and they're really regretting that because they're telling people now they're caught up um, in a situation that is becoming burdensome um, by the day. OK, really burdensome. Right. It, they feel like there's this, this load on their back that they just can't seem to get rid of. Right. And it's just been a, such a long journey and they just want to release um, this load. But this whole experience they're telling people has made them take a different look, have a different outlook on life um, and on love. Let me put they tell me to pull a card on that. Let me pull a card. Yeah. Ha! The hangman is clarified by the hangman. Yeah. Let's have to get another card, obviously, right? And now they're at a crossroads, right? They're so they're, this person's in pause. I think they're trying to make another choice this time because what they're realizing now that they're in hangman mode is that they made that previous choice 
um, they're telling people based on their abandonment issues. That ungroundedness from their mother issue, their mommy issues before, right? They were making all their choices based on that. So they're realizing that now um, and they're telling people. All right. So this reading is kind of fluid. So now that I know we've gotten that uh, message about one, the karmic talking about you and this love interest talking about you, I'm going to ask the cards, um, what's this person's, this love interest, what's their intentions? It was not meant to be part of the reading, but since it has come through, um, I have to explore that for you guys, okay? All right. So in terms of the karmic, now that they've spread all these rumors, what is their intention? What are they going to do next? Okay, well, they feel powerless. They can't do shit. The only thing that they can do um, is spread rumors and lies about you. Okay, and as they spread rumors and lies about you, they're going to get some clarity um, about their own illusions. Um, and there's also uh, a situation that's also um, going to come to an end. Okay, so if it is they were given energy to the other connection before, um, they're going to stop giving that energy because they're going to realize as they keep talking about you and contemplating the whole situation, um, all the illusions and fantasies that they had in their head, that's going to come to an end. And they're going to realize that this person that they're with um, really has nothing to offer them anyway. So I think they're going to end it with whoever you guys uh, might be with. In terms of um, the loving, yes, and if this is um, an ex or someone that you're dealing with right now, Let's see what their intentions are towards you. We have bad health. So this is a depression card in this deck. So this person's in a really bad way. I mean, that 10 of swords reverse and that 10 of wands should have told us that. We have house. We have unexpected income. And we have despair. So this person could even be going through dark night with a soul, but they're not, they're not in a very good place um, right now. There's something that's going on um, in their home life, and they're hoping that they can become single because 27 reduced to 9, and this is, the nine, this is like the 9 of pentacles. So let's deconstruct this card, these cards and see what's happening. So with this bad health, what's happening? Yeah, this person's not speaking up, and because they're not speaking their truth, it's manifesting physically um, in their body. So it looks like they're depressed. What's happening in this house? Yeah, this person feels stuck in this house. Now, I'm doing this at a time of quarantine. So this person could literally um, feel stuck here. Um, they, and they could, they're stuck with this karmic. Okay, they're stuck with this karmic energy. Right? Um, and, you know, it's just a horrible situation. We have the star card in reverse. They're feeling quite hopeless. Right? But at the same time, this break is necessary because... As they get stuck with this karmic, they're also doing some major healing. And then we have the unexpected income. Yes, yeah, so it looks like this person's going to be single. We have the nine of pentacles here. We have the fool. It looks like this person's going to take a leap of faith. Um, and they're going to close off a cycle um, of despair. Because this person's been really um, feeling it um, in terms of missing your presence. Okay, so power one, we got two people coming through. We got um, a karmic coming through and we also had a, um, an ex or some love interest come through. But know that this person is going to be um, getting single. Um, they're currently um, stuck with a karmic or an ex, but they're going to be single um, pretty soon, it looks like. Okay, so power one, that was your reading. I hope that helps you. Take care. Bye. Power two, welcome to your reading. So if you chose the... Um, universal weight and the um, black two million pyramid this is your reading all right so before we get into the tarot um, I pull some cards out of my archetype archetype deck and let's see who might be coming through or who is talking about you so this is not the whole deck these just represent um, certain archetypes okay so let's see we're gonna take two cards Ooh, that was quick all right, so we got a student. So this is somebody who's trying to 
find out information about you. It could be someone who might actually be your student. It could be someone who you might have taught a particular lesson. Um, again, a kind of youthful energy coming through here. Let's get another card. But that's like the higher font in this deck, so it might be a Taurus as well. Could be somebody that you were in a committed relationship with or might want to offer you commitment. And then we have a storyteller in reverse. So we're talking about um, a pathological liar here or someone who just with, withheld the truth or has not been forthcoming with information. All right. Um, let me see how they feel about you and I'll tell you if this is a... It, but it sounds like an ex, guys. It sounds like an ex. This person's like studying you hard. They're trying to get information about you. And it, it comes out again. Look, curious. And this is my like stalker looker card. So this is someone who wants to find out information about you. They're trying to study you. They're literally trying to study you. Um, and this could be either they were a pathological lie in the past or this person is, is actually spreading rumors about you right now. Um, it's someone who is depressed. It's almost still sound like power one. Okay, no, no. So this is this is an X. Um, they're thankful. I was going to say maybe it's a karmic or third party. Um, they're feeling aggressive. And they're feeling strong. All right. So I'm going to pull a card and see why they're depressed and why they're thankful because they seem to be like, okay. They're depressed because they see like they want to manifest some kind of new love with you, but they feel like they're stuck. What are they thankful for? Okay, yeah, they, they've had some kind of epiphany about you. I think this person is recognizing that they were kind of unawakened in the past. And they weren't realizing that this was a destined connection, but they're, they're realizing that it's a destined, destined connection now. Um, they're feeling aggressive because it's like they're stuck. They're stuck somewhere. They're now loving themselves and they think you're wish fulfillment, but they're stuck somewhere in a karmic cycle. So this person's stuck with some kind of third party. What's the feeling strong? Yes, yeah, so, and they have very powerful and strong feelings about you. Okay, so they're trying to get information here. We see curious. They're trying to get information because um, they're unhappy. And they see you like a lost opportunity, like the one that got away. The one that got away. All right, so this is what's happening. Um, for pile two, we are tapping into an ex. It's either an ex or it could be a present love interest um, that might have treated you badly. They might have lied to you. They might have deceived you. But I do think that might, they might be stuck with someone else or they're stuck in some sort of pain. They might have gotten their karma, but I'm really getting for this one. It's, it's an ex. It's an ex who, who lied to you. They have issues telling the truth. Okay. And this is why this black two million came out because um, this person's really depressed. So they might be going through dark night of the soul. This might be a soulmate. You might have had a past life in Egypt together. So let's find out what they're telling people about you. But I'm, I'm getting that this is like definitely an ex. An ex or some kind of a love interest. Right? It, you see, they, were, they deceived you. But they were, <laughs> they were really deceiving themselves. They were in some kind of um, self-deceptions. Um, some kind of denial. Um, and they didn't want to see things from a higher perspective. But when things ended, it was like a wake-up call to them. All right, so let's let's get eight cards. What are they telling people about you? 
We have the Knight of Pentacles, so we have a Virgo coming through. We have, I told you that, I told you that they're stuck. We have an Eight of Swords. That's Gemini, Libra, Aquarius energy. We have a Queen of Swords um, reversed. Ah, Libra energy. But you know, all my reverse court cards are karmic. So I'm, I'm interpreting this as they are stuck with some kind of karmic. We have the Three of Pentacles in reverse. Taurus, Virgo, Capricorn. We have a Ten of Cups in reverse. Cancer, kind of Pisces, Scorpio. We have a Page of Wands. Leo, Sagittarius, Aries. We have an Ace of Cups. Cancer, kind of Pisces, Scorpio. And we have a Knight of Wands in reverse who is a leo Alrighty. okay pile two what are they telling people they are telling people that they want to give you some kind of solid offer this is the knight of pentacles he is as slow as fuck guys i'm not gonna lie to you <laughs> he he overthinks he takes his dead time because the perfect the perfectionist in him um wants to bring this brilliant offer because they're afraid of rejection right but this person feels stuck here um, but they're not really stuck. They're kind of st they're stuck in like some self-limiting thoughts, um, beliefs. They're not seeing things clearly because they can easily escape. They're just not tapping into their intuition. They're letting their thoughts um, blind them. Okay, so they're telling people that they're stuck, and they're telling people that they're stuck with a karmic. If they're not telling people that they're stuck with a karmic, they're telling people that you cut them off. You cut them off completely, and you don't think you have a chance in hell. They don't think that they have a chance in hell in getting back in your life. They, they're telling people that they destroyed things. They destroyed things between you guys. Um, things could have been solid, but they sabotaged um, the connection. Um, they might also be telling people, if this refers to a comic, that they want to get rid of this third party because they're not happy. They're also telling, you that, like, telling people that you're the one that got away. That's what I tell people. They, you're the one that got away, right? And, and they miss talking to you and they, and they want to send you some sort of message. And the message that they want to send, it looks like, um, is that they love you and they want another chance. But this person, they're not taking any action and they're telling people that they're telling people they can't take action right now. So let's clarify some of these cards and find out why this Knight of Pentacles, who's already slow as F, feels like they can't take any action right now. All right, let's let's pull cards on the Eight of Swords. Right, they're stuck. They feel like um, they can't express their emotions. I think they're stuck with a karmic because we have a Knight of Cups in reverse. So they're stuck in some kind of a loveless situation that is karmic in nature. They have a karmic debt um, between them, right? But really and truly, this person's stuck in that situation because they have low self-esteem and poor self-image and they don't think that you're going to take them back, right? And that's why they're not moving on from that situation. We have the chariot in reverse. This Queen of Swords, is she you or is she a karmic? Um, she is you. <laughs> so they're telling people that you cut them out completely, right? And right now you're not even entertaining them. In fact, they're telling people if they come back and try to engage you, um, you're going to Queen of Swords them. you're going to cut them to pieces with your words. Um, because I think this person might have really deceived you and maybe told you a lot of lies. Okay. What is Three of Pentacles in Reverse? Um, we have strength in reverse and the page of pentacles in reverse. They're telling people that they also regret not making your solid off when they had a chance. Um, they held back on their emotions and that holding back on their emotions is what sabotaged um, this connection. They're telling people that. What's this ten of cups? Right. In reverse. Right. They're telling people that they're not happy and they're, they're telling people that they want a fresh start. And they think they want that this fresh start with you and they want to bring a very solid offer your way right but there there's this karmic there's this karmic one and there's also you that might cut them to pieces and reject them and you know they can't deal with rejection um, but they definitely want to take action because they see you um, as their ten of cups so they want to bring you some sort of message here um, and some message saying that um, they want to fight for this connection. Um, they want to put in the effort now because they love you. 
they love you, right? They've eliminated all the competition. They're realizing that you're the one. They love you, right? They're telling people that they love you, but they're telling people that they can't take action right now. And that's because um, they don't want any conflict, right? I think this person's being kind of childish. So they're holding back on their emotions. Um, they're not speaking up. Um, and they're not moving on from the situation that they are in. They feel stuck. They feel stuck, right? I think this person's also um, healing a lot of um, childhood issues as well. Um, but they're, they're codependent, okay, on another. I really do think that they're with someone else. If they're not with someone else, know that they're sabotaging themselves with their own insecurities, okay? So let's see what's their intention towards you. What is their intention? What is their intention? Okay, we have here a family room as a card number 21. So that's the ending of something. But 21 also registered three. So that could be talking about a third party. We have a false person. So I really do think this person is with someone else. We have a child, so it could be um, that they're doing shadow work on their inner child or there might be a child or they might want to have a child with you. And then we have here community. All right, so let's pull some cards on these and see what this is all about. Um, Spirit, their intention, what is this family room? All right, so this is talking about I'm um, having some kind of reason to celebrate or it could be talking about a third party. Let's see. Let's pull some more cards. All right. So they're thinking about um, dismantling some kind of structure that they've built with a third party um, in order to come towards you and also have this celebration with you. Because I think they're recognizing that the person that they're with, right, is a false person and they want to end the cycle. It's been nothing but a burden to this person. But we have a child here. What's this about? Right. Um, we have a child here, so they might have a child with this person, or, yeah, they could, they could have a child with this person, they could be a child in this mix, or they might be childish, or they might be trying to balance their inner child, but I'm getting, my, there might be a child in this mix here, but this person, um, yeah, they want to end it because they're realizing that you're their soul tribe. You're their community, but they're not speaking their truth right now. Um, they're working on their finances and they're working on being stable um, before they approach you. So know that this person is planning um, to approach you, pal, too. Um, but it looks like it's a, there's a complicated situation that's going on here. I'm really feeling that there was a third party. There might be children involved or maybe some child on the way. Um, or they might be trying to balance their inner child and the issues um, that they might have there. But know that this person is planning um, to come towards you. They're planning to end another situation to come towards you, okay? All right, pal two, that was your reading. I hope that it helped you. Please like, share, subscribe. Um, and if you can click on any of the ads I might have played during this reading, um, that will be great energy exchange. All right, pal two, take care. Bye. Hey, pal three, if you chose the tarot of the new vision, this is your reading. And um, before we get into the tarot, um, I took out some cards from my archetype deck. Just to, for us to get an idea of who might be talking about you. And we're going to get two of these. Woo. So we have love. And it says bring love into the situation. So it looks like this might be a love of yours. Somebody that um, you love. Or they might love you. So we have a love interest coming through. And we have child divine. Innocence, purity and redemption. Suggests a special connection with the divine. So it's some kind of love. And it looks like someone who might have gone through some kind of um, spiritual awakening. Or some sort of rebirth process. Um, it looks like because it looks like they're communing with spirit. Um, this could be someone that you consider that you might be protective about. Um, it could be someone who might have been immature or 
you might view as immature but it looks like it's definitely a love interest all right let's um look at how they feel about you and we're gonna know for sure who is coming through here but this is about a love situation it looks like now it could be um a child or somebody you consider to be a child but it's somebody that loves you it looks like let's see all right so we have worthless I, I'm getting this could be an ex or a present love interest we have withdrawn so this person could have walked away from you walked away from your connection right now or they could be actually like in hermit mode right now I'm really I'm thinking about things I'm really focusing on their issues um, maybe you guys can watch pile two let me see we have euphoria i hate that card because when i see this card that is my somebody who is um taking drugs or partying or something um to make them feel good it's a kind of um escapist card now it could be that they're actually happy but that's my escapist card let's get another card and then we have annoyed all right so let's clarify some of these um and let's see if you can zero in on who this is so this could be i'm getting could be an ex or current love interest why are they feeling worthless what's this so they have self-esteem issues and it's relating to some kind of mummy um some kind of mummy issue or they could be with a karmic you know what pal three you can watch pal one two and three because you seem to be an amalgamation of both of those piles or you can definitely watch part two yeah they're on the side i think this person might be dealing with a third party right and there's some kind of tower moment that's happening i'm um, with your person right now and now they're recognizing that, that you're the one mm -hmm. and they want to invest in this connection but there is this karmic and they don't feel um like they're worthy either because this person's very ungrounded it looks like there's there's some kind of mummy issue that this person has so definitely um pile one i think has that one but since our love interest that's coming through you can watch pile two um as well okay all right so let's have a look we have withdrawn okay um this person has a withdrawn and what they're doing when they withdrew <laughs> and you know what that's this withdrawn card it reminds me of hermit because hermit, the hermit withdraws um and hermit is virgo and the, the knight of pentacles is also a virgo okay and when the knight of pentacles is reversed because when he's reversed he's a karmic energy um he's the overthinker because he wants everything to be perfect and is highly critical they're highly critical um of themselves right they, they want to release some kind of burden some kind of baggage that they have here um, but their thoughts are getting the better of them um they know that you are their love their soulmate right and they want to make things right i think i don't know this person might have screwed up um in the past but now they want to make things right because you make them happy okay and they think that they've lost you we have the six of cups in reverse and they might have lost you because they might have been holding back um on their emotions okay but now they want to progress they want to move forward but i think you know they might be thinking it's a missed opportunity let's see why are they annoyed yeah they're annoyed that they didn't take that leap of faith when they should have mm -hmm. um instead they went with the comic they feel absolutely foolish now because now they see the truth about everything and now they're caught in this comic cycle so i'm really getting someone um who is with a comic partner they're with a third party and they're annoyed because um they're realizing now they made the wrong choice anyway what are they telling people about you let's give these a, a shuffle what are they telling people about you all right we have the nine of wands reverse and that's the powerless card and the reason why they're feeling powerless is because even though they know that you are the nine of you are the ten of cups here everything they could ever want 
um, they have abandonment issues that are, that's keeping them stuck uh, with someone that they don't love, it looks like. But this person loves fear, loves you. They just need to love themselves more. All right, so let's see. What are they telling people? Let's get eight cards. All right. So we have the three of pentacles in reverse. So definitely watch pile two. Mm. Taurus, Virgo, Capricorn. We have the two of cups in reverse. Cancer, Pisces, Scorpio. We have the hangman in reverse. This person is basically beating themselves up. Um, Pisces energy. We have the eight of wands. Leo, Sagittarius, Aries energy. Um, we have the Six of Pentacles reversed, Taurus, Virgo, Capricorn energy. Um, we have the Knight of Swords in reverse, who is a Gemini. We have the Hermit, of course he would come out right, um, Virgo. And we have the Three of Wands in reverse. Um, so what are they telling people right now? Okay, um, They're telling people um, that they blew it. They blew it. Um, they're telling people that they had the opportunity to build something strong with you and they blew it. Um, they chose another situ they chose another connection that they now realize um, is not about love. Okay. So they're seeing you as this missed opportunity for love, for fulfillment and to have um, this soulmate connection. And they're realizing that it was their own stubbornness that caused them to miss this opportunity because they weren't trying to get a different perspective on you. I think they were like prejudice against you they didn't want to form this bond with you i don't think they want they were open to love even though they might have chosen this other person i think they chose this other person because it was safe they were operating out of their wounding but now they realize they love you so this this has come as a, a you know like a big epiphany for them right you know cupid's arrow struck so now they know that they love you they want to tell you that they want to bring you some communication here with this eight of wands um, they want this positive movement forward but there's this karmic situation um, that they seem to be in um, and this situation is absolutely unbalanced so because of this karmic situation they're telling people um, now is not the right time for them to speak their truth to you I mean you're not going to take them seriously if they're with someone else and they're trying to come to you to tell you how they love you so they've, they've gone deep within they're really withdrawn because they can't seem to find a solution to the problem you're the one that makes them happy you're the one that they're in love with, but yet they're stuck with someone else. They're stuck with a third party. Um, and all they really want is to get rid of the, the competition, get rid of the interference. Um, they want some peace in their life because I think with this other situation, there's a lot of drama and there's a lot of people interfering. And it, there could have been a lot of people interfering um, in your connection um, in the past. Um, they just want to get rid of this and really manifest um, this love connection that they feel with you so let's clarify some of these cards and make sure that it's a message but that's what i'm seeing here um spirit what's this three of pentacles in reverse what are they telling people right so um they're telling people that they want to get rid of this third party right we have the three of swords in reverse so they wanted all these knives to fall out of their chest and they want to get back to normal so they're, they're, they're telling people they're ready they're ready to get rid of this third party um they want to speak their truth they want to be authentic and they're realizing that this third party, um, there's no love here, right? We have the two of cups in reverse. Okay, and they want to be happy. And they're not right now, right? So they're telling people that they want to get rid of this third party because this third party, um, this person is unenlightened. Um, they are stubborn. They're resisting transformation. And this person that they might be with uh, might be a pathological liar, okay? Um, so they want to release this relationship. Um, in order to come towards you. And it looks like the divine is helping them because um, this relationship that they're in right now is having um, a tower moment, okay? Right? We have the distorted feminine here. So they're definitely with a, t a karmic and there's a tower moment that's happening in this connection as we speak. We have the hangman in reverse. So yeah, this person might have been manipulative in the past. Um, they might have been trying to control you, control the situation, but that's because they were uh, unawakened, they were unenlightened, and they didn't know self, right? But now they're going deep within to find out who they are, and that's why they want this positive movement found. They realize that they love you now. So we have this Eight of Wands. Yeah, they want to come towards you. They want to talk to you. 
they want to bring you some kind of message and the message that they want to bring is that you're everything you're everything to them they realize that now right they didn't they, they didn't see it before they couldn't see it before because they were wrapped up in their ego they might have been bamboozled by what this other person was telling them um the other person might have been just as codependent as they were so they knew that that person would never leave them and maybe you know their abandonment issues were talking louder than the the love that they were feeling in their heart for you so they're here now in in some kind of karmic relationship right with somebody who um is unenlightened okay with someone who's toxic and they, they just want to get out they want to get out of that but they're not speaking up why yeah they're at this crossroads trying to make this decision here right um and they're getting really frustrated with what's happening okay with this karmic who is um very abusive it looks like right and they just want to release this burden right so this person has withdrawn um from this third party and they've gone deep with them because um they need to get grounded and they're also thinking about you too you are here you're the queen of pentacles in my um readings all the reverse court cards are karmic energies and all the cards that are upright are um, divine energies or grounded energies. So they're seeing you as extremely grounded. They're seeing you as abundant and they're seeing you as stable. And they're seeing themselves as absolutely bored and not having a, a purpose in life. So they want to get rid of all these outside parties, all these people that interfered, all these people that might have helped sabotage this connection. And they want to reconcile with you, but they're absolutely stressed out because they don't know how you're going to react and when they come towards you because I think this person did you an injustice. Okay. Um, I think this person's also having some financial issues as well. So they're not as abundant as they, they should be. They're also um, thinking about their abandonment issues. Um, they're thinking about the ways that they might have deceived you in the past. Um, they're thinking that you might be defensive against them right now because of what happened. Um, and that's why they may not be coming forward. Right? But they, they're getting rid of the third party. They're, they're, they're coming. They're getting rid of the third party. But right now they're not speaking their truth. Alright. So this person wants to come towards you. It looks like. Let's have. Let's see what are their intentions towards you. Pile 3. What are their intentions? We have the lovers. Now the lovers talks about a choice. So this person's facing a choice. Do they stay in a toxic relationship? Because um, the card number 15 is the devil. It's a card of codependency. Or do they choose love? Because 15 also reduced to 6. And six is the card of the lovers. So this person is trying to make a choice in love. Yeah. I think that they're, they're, they're thinking non-stop about you. Right? They're thinking non-stop about you. They can't stop thinking about you. Um, we have a family room here. And it's a card number 21. So there's something that's ending. Um, in some sort of family situation. Let's get another card. And we have toil and labor. So I think this person's also drowning themselves in work. Um, not to think about you as well. All right, let's pull some cards. Spirit, why don't you give us the lovers for their intention? Yeah, this person wants to bring you some kind of commitment. Okay, some kind of traditional commitment. Now, they might be in a traditional commitment with somebody now, but they really want to um, be with you because they've learned their spiritual lesson. Okay, um, they're thinking about you non-stop and because they're thinking about you um, they're ready to release this negative influences um, in their life and release the codependency and toxic energy um, this family room they're realizing that um, this family situation that they might be in right now um, they need to end it because um, the people there it's, it's just unchanged um, it's toxic they're with this distorted feminine here who's heavily codependent and negative as well and it's, it's just a lot of conflict and fight. And your person, they just can't deal with it anymore. So they're going to be moving on from that situation. Okay. Um, we have toil and labor. So it looks like they want to put in the work um, in your connection. 
Yeah, because they want they have they want to have victory with you because you are their lover and you're their ten of cups, okay? So it looks like this person's coming towards you, but there is another situation I'm picking up that they need to wrap up first. But that's what they're telling people. They want to come towards you, they want to put in the effort. Um, they were a fool in the past, but now they're realizing the error of their ways and they're ready to make big changes in their life um, in order to come towards you, okay? All right, pal three, that was your reading. Um, if you like this reading, please like, share. Please subscribe to my channel. Um, and if you can click on any of the ads that play during this reading, that will be great energy exchange, okay? All right, guys, take care. Bye.